Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's topic is adding fractions with different denominators. Let's take a fraction like one third and say that we want to add one half to it. Now there's several different ways that you can figure out how to add those together, but today I'm going to show you what I tell my students is the alternate algorithm. If you look at three and two, you may immediately recognize that six is the lowest common denominator, but let's pretend that you didn't recognize it. I know that 2 isn't a factor of 3, and 3 isn't a factor of 2, and that's going to lead me to want to use my alternate algorithm. When I use my alternate algorithm, I start with my top left-hand number, 1, and I multiply it by my bottom right-hand number. 1 times 2 is 2. Whatever the sign is I have here, in this case it's an addition problem, so I'm going to put a plus sign, but if it was a subtraction problem, all I would do is put a minus sign instead. I'm going to say 2 plus 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and all of that is divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. Now I simply add that together. 2 plus 3 is 5 over 6, and that's my answer, 5 6. Does this work every time? Yes. It works 100% of the time. If you're adding whole numbers, if you're adding integers, if you're adding variables, if you're trying to come up with um, polynomials, it works. The only thing that I caution you about is that sometimes your answer is not in the least, uh, in its simplest form, and many times you do need to reduce it. So let's do another example. Let's say I have 3 fourths plus 1 sixth. Again, I'm going to look at that 4 and that 6 before I do anything to try to figure out if this is the most efficient method of, of solving this problem. 4 isn't a factor of 6, 6 isn't a factor of 4, so I'm going to go ahead and use the alternate algorithm. I'm going to start at the top left, and I have 3. 3 times 6 is 18. I'm going to put my plus sign. 4 times 1 is 4. And all of that is divided by 4 times 6, which is 24. So I have 22 over 24. And immediately when I see that, because I see that that's an even number, both of those, I know that I can take a 2 out of both of them. So 22 divided by 2 is 11, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So my answer is 11 over 12. And again, this works every single time. Sometimes it's a little more complicated, sometimes it's a little less. Let's try another problem. I have 4 ninths plus 1 third. Now I'm going to look at that problem, and I'm looking at the 9 and the 3, and I see that 3 is a factor of 9. In this case, I'm probably going to use the traditional algorithm simply because it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit cleaner, if you will. But let's pretend that you didn't recognize that 3 and 9, that, that 3 was a factor of 9. What would you do? Well, again, you start with the 4. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to put my plus sign. 9 times 1 is 9, divided by 3 times 9, which is 27. So let's see, what does that give me? Um, looks like it gives me 21 over 27, which may look okay, but it's not in its least form. I look at both of those numbers and I recognize that I can take a 3 out of each of them. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So I get 7 ninths. Again, this method works exactly the same if you're subtracting, if I have 3 quarters minus 1 sixth, I'm going to look at the 6 and the 4 and say, hmm, 6 isn't a factor of 4, and 4 is not a factor of 6. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to use my alternate algorithm. 3 times 6 is 18. In this case, because I have a minus, I'm going to put a minus sign here. 4 times 1 is 4, and all of that is divided by 24. 18 minus 4 is 14 over 24. Because those are both even numbers, I'm going to take a 2 out. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So my answer is 7 twelfths. Doesn't get a lot harder than that. Feel free to rewind this video to watch it again if you need a refresher on the alternate algorithm for adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators.